bang, bang, bang. All right. So this has been a long weighted review because I probably should have started reviewing these once they came out, like the moment they started, they came out because they were in the public eye. Now they've been out for a couple weeks and people are starting to enjoy them. I kept seeing people uh, drinking these saying, oh yeah, these are great for you. These, these are awesome. Um, the dealio behind why there was delay in trying these is because there is one uh, one, one thing about this that is you need to take into account when trying these. That is the idea that, one, you have to be 18 or older in order to actually buy it. I'm not kidding. Like, it says, not intended for eight, underneath ages of 18. So, and the reason why of that is because... Hold on, I'm looking for scanning for it. Um, somewhere on here, it says... Ah, here it is, the warning. Uh, too much caffeine, because they said... One serving of it provides 300 milligrams of caffeine. Now, that does not mean it's a bad product. That just means you have to split it up. So when I try this today, I'm going to be trying it with a shot glass. Or more important, more specifically, um, this is what uh, people use to take medicine. So you wash it out real good, make sure that it has no medicine flavor in it, that it contains originally what this is supposed to taste like. This is all cleaned out, all ready to take this in. So basically, you take it kind of like you would take, um, you can either split it in half, so that way you only get 150 milligrams, or you can drink the whole thing and basically drink water for the rest of the day. That Those are your two options. Either one... Do split in half or two, you have to take the whole thing and drink water the rest of the day. So, I tasted my thumb and already I think this is going to be something pretty good. But yeah, this does not hinder the product technically, but you just have to be careful with these things. Oh, did not realize it would pour like that. Uh, it is a very, I have never poured in a shot glass that small. So, my aiming was way off. <laughs> Alright, let me just grab something over here to help with it. Because, leave no mess. Leave no stone unturned. And this is the first ever time I'm going to be drinking from a shot glass, so... Or a medicine thing that seems like a shot. Bottoms up. Ooh. Ooh, I could I could I could feel that. I could feel that. Already a shot that small. This is only about three tablespoons. So already in three tablespoons, I got I could feel a little bit like, okay, this this will provide you with some energy. This has some bang to it. A bang, literally. Yeah, let's pour another one because I do need to There we go. My aiming is way better now. Just got to get used to that. Just dripping off the side. That's how you do it. Because I don't know if you're supposed to do it this way. I mean, you could probably put it in glass and that would actually be safer or better. Yeah, so basically it does, this is blueberry rasp. So it has that blueberry-ish to it. The only thing is there's a tad bit, not too much, but there's a tad bit of an after. It's very small, very small, very small. And it comes in a little bit afterward. But it only lasts for like, maybe a second. It's not that bad, it's not bad. Don't get me wrong. There are tastes, there are drinks that will have aftertaste. They don't last too long, they don't hinder the drink. So with that being said, this drink I'm going to give an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 because of good flavor, high energy for when you need it. And this flavor is just, it's a good flavor to keep in. So there's lots of variety for this drink as well. There will be more uh, reviews coming in the future for this type of drink. I just wanted to get bang out there. Now the question of today is, because of the last couple of times I've been doing reviews, I've been doing questions. And yes, I would buy it again. So 8 out of 10, would buy again. Has a blueberry explosion in your mouth, like a, 
blueberry, pomegranate, that type of feel. And it's also kind of soda-y, so, soda so if you like soda, you can taste the carbonation. Not too much carbonation, but it's a, it's a little bit of carbonation. Not, kind of just right, kind of just right. It's got a little bit of carbonation, but not like Sprite carbonation, because that, that's way over. But the question of the day is, why is it that energy drinks are requiring 300 milligrams of caffeine? That's a good question. And because people are needing more energy, well, part of it, my theory is people are needing more energy for this world and for all of that you're doing and for what you want to do in, sorry, for what you want to do in exercise and what you want to do in life in general. So this drink is providing a lot of energy, but the problem, the only backdrop of it is that you don't need to drink as much. For instance, if I had a monster, uh, I would be able to drink uh, the whole can serving-wise because it would only be 150 calories. But the backdrop is I would not get as much energy and would not have be able to go as far. This definitely, if you need energy, this is your stuff. And the flavor is not bad. Plus with uh, with Monster, you're stuck with that original flavor. Like, do you remember when you think of Monster? Most places will only sell that original flavor of Monster. This one, all the places I've been, there's been multiple flavors of it all across the board. So good variety as well. Uh, hope to look to more of these as well. There's also another energy drink called Rain, I think it's called. Like Rain is in like rule. Like I'm a king rain, that type of thing. So but anyway, this is the last thing, way too long of a video. I need to get this under control. But yeah, go try out Bang and see what you think. And let me know in the comments why exactly you think energy drinks are requiring more caffeine. But that's just my theory, like I said earlier. Bye.